this tutorial will show you how to use iMovie iOS 8 for iPad. Let's open the app. On the main page, you just tap the plus button to create a new movie. Choose Movie. Here you can choose the theme for your project. I'm going to choose the modern theme. Tap to select. This is the editing screen. It's got three important parts, view window, media window, and timeline. There's a little help button at the top that'll show you some tips if you need them. Let's get started. We need to add some media. All of this media comes from your iPad. I'm going to choose a video from my iCloud drive that my iPad is connected to. I'll choose that one and it will insert at the bottom in my timeline. I can see what's at the playhead, that's the line, in the window above. Tap the video to select it for editing. You can drag the beginning of the video to shorten it. To zoom the video, touch the magnifying glass button, and then pinch. Now the whole video is zoomed. You can edit the video effects. Tap the settings wheel and you can choose different filters, theme music, and some other effects. I'm going to detach the audio from the video so I can delete it. I don't like the audio on this video. Select, choose detach, there it is, and I'm going to delete by tapping the delete button. Video and photos are deleted the same way. Select and tap delete. I'm going to split the video clip and add a photo in the middle of it. So where I want to split it, I'm going to put on the playhead. And then I'm going to choose split. So now you can see it's in two pieces and I can edit the two pieces separately. I can also choose transitions between the video clips. I can select the transition box and then choose what kind of transition I want. Each theme has a different one, and there are some others you can choose from. You can also change the speed of the clip. Choose the clock button, and then slow down or speed up the clip. You can add titles by choosing the T button. Just choose which one you'd like, and you'll see the text boxes up in the view window. Select and type your title. The title only appears in the selected clip. Add titles to the other clips in the same way. There's another video effects button on the bottom left. Now I'm going to add a photo between the video clips. So in the media window I'll choose photos, I'll choose the one I want, I put the playhead in the place I want to add it, and it will add right where the playhead is. Now I've got a still photo between my videos. And another one. You can edit photos the same way as videos. Select and choose the edit tool. When photos are added, they have a Ken Burns effect. That means they pan and zoom. You can change this with a little square button in the bottom right corner of a photo. You choose the beginning point and the end point, and then pinch the photo to zoom and pan. You can also adjust the start and the end of the zoom to be in the same place so that it has no zoom or pan. That's what I'm doing here.
You can add music and sound effects to your project too. In the media area, select audio. If you choose music, it will apply to the whole project. If you choose sound effects, you can apply them where you want them. The music automatically loops when it reaches the end, so it continues to the end of the video, no matter how long it is. You can add voiceover using the microphone button as well. To save, exit the project. It saves automatically. Tap the title bar to edit the name of your video. Tap the share button to publish it. The easiest way to publish is just by sending it to your photo library on your iPad. Choose your resolution. If it's a better resolution, it will take longer to save. Okay, now it's in my photo library. Let's go take a look. Here it is. Let's open and play. Here's my movie.